suffixes introduction. Okay, so a suffix is basically a group of letters you add to the end of a word in order to change uh, to change it. Okay, uh, sometimes the change is semantic, right? A semantic change. So it means you're going to change the meaning of uh, that word, the original word. But uh, I have to tell you that most of the times uh, the change is um, a grammatic uh, change, a syntax change. Basically, it means that you are going to change one word from one category to another category, okay? I'm just talking now about suffixes, right? We could talk about prefixes, right? That basically we're talking about uh, words or, sorry, group of letters you put in the beginning of a word, all right? Uh, we call affix, you know, a general term for all of those things. And, and I say all of those things because we have other kinds of affixes, you know? For example, in Portuguese, we do have the word, the, 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 the device circumfix, you know? Basically, you have uh, like something you stick to the beginning of the word and to the end of the word at the same time, you know? Think about the word in Portuguese, amedrontado, okay? We don't have the word medrontado in, in Portuguese, and we don't have the word amedo in in Portuguese, right? So we say amedrontado uh, in order to transform, I don't know, uh, a noun into an adjective in that case, okay? Okay, so once we know what those things are, let's see, let's pay attention to what kind of uh, features we should keep in mind when we're using a suffix, okay? First, we should care about what kind of word does a suffix uses, you know, grammatically speaking. I mean, does a suffix use uh, a noun, an adjective, a verb, all right? And then we're going to have the suffix here, and we're going to imagine what kind of word uh, this suffix gives us, okay? First example, uh, let's start with uh, ness, okay? Let's think about ness. So, we can get a word like uh, sad, which is an adjective, sad, and then we add ness, and we have sadness, and sadness is a noun. So basically, remember to simplify things, uh, sad is something you are, sadness is something you have. So an adjective, a noun. Let's test it with another one. So let's get the word, uh, I don't know, careful, careful is an adjective, he's very careful with his kids, okay, and uh, let's take a look at the word carefulness, so you transform again an adjective into a noun uh, when uh, we say something you need to have careful, carefulness when you deal with uh, fragile things. Or his carefulness was the reason why he got the job. Okay? And then I, I could continue going uh, more and more examples. I just one one observation. I'll, I'll treat that in the future when I make a video about full. But uh, we already have a suffix here, so it's possible to get one suffix with another suffix with another suffix, okay? But uh, let's just fix 
in our NS here, you could have, for example, uh, happy happiness. Okay, so happy is something you are, happiness is something you uh, you have. Okay, keep in mind that, guys, that uh, in other cases, some words will be kind of useless, even though they can be created. Think about it, fast, and then you can have fastness. That's okay, that's a pretty uh, acceptable word in English. Remember, guys, one more thing. Uh, words that are accepted, acceptable in a language are not just those words that are in dictionary, okay? We can make new words all the time. We have that right if we master the device of making uh, those words. Let me give you an example in Portuguese. You know, if uh, you go to... to the dictionary probably I haven't checked, but probably you won't you won't find uh, the word sentação. I'm pretty sure you won't find the word sentação there, right? And then you say, well, of course you can't find the word sentação there because this word doesn't exist. And then I ask you, does it? You know, let's imagine my kids are here and they're watching this class and then suddenly they are sitting here and then they stand up and sit there and sit there and again and then I look at them and say, Vão parar com essa sentação aí? Right? So, yeah, it's completely possible, right? We make words all the time. Uh, so, why am I telling you this? Because, yes, the word fastness is it's completely acceptable, all right? We can talk, um, instead of speed, that is actually the consecrated word, right? The noun for fast is speed, right? Or velocity, right? But we could say that his fastness, uh, I don't know, won him the race or whatever, okay? And then we could continue on and on. We could make the word slow, slowness, and that's a very nice word, okay? Um, and we could try with all the other adjectives, right? Uh, a nice exercise, guys, is exactly this one, you know? Get an adjective, remember, keep in mind, you get adjectives, make a sentence, make up a sentence, transform that into a noun and make up another sentence with the noun. That will make you guys feel comfortable with this device, okay? So in the end, you won't have to trust just your memory. You have an ability to create new words because natives do that all the time.